Go ahead, over. Yeah, man, we just knocked down Elkton. We coming at you at a high rate of speed. Alright, uh, bring him here to the office. Just talk to Train Master Dana. Says that y'all are to do the set off and pick up with my assistance. Over. Oh, What's up everybody, Real Fan Rowan here. I'm just south of Shenandoah, Virginia today, in the snow, watching a 12Z pull northbound into Shenandoah Yard. Gonna do some work and then hopefully we'll get to catch it in the snow, going by some colored position lights from the old Norfolk and Western Railroad that still stand on this line today. Today is December 16th, 2020, and a relatively short 12Z, as you can see, that's the last car there. And the head end just did come through a minute ago, so um, let's go head up to Shenandoah and see what we can see. All right, we are arriving in Shenandoah, our NS12Z, with a 3482 trailing back there. Nice. Just pulled up. They're gonna do a little bit of work. And then we'll get on our way. Okay, so we have a mixture of rain, snow, and sleet right now, so that's kind of it. in this uh, rear motor over to 23 and do a little switching on 24. Alright. Hey, per Dana, she said leave that uh, 3482 run when you set it off. Uh, it was running when I came up the road, so uh, I'll just tie her down. Alright. So as you can see, just like they said, they set off this 3482 and they were instructed to leave it running. And now they're going to continue the switching with these two units. Shenandoah is really difficult to film the switching activity because a lot of it, most of it does not happen, at least anytime I'm here, does not happen in front of you near the station building. It happens down there. And you can't see that unless you were trespassing, so we can't see it. Um, but they use that yard, and they'll have this train built eventually. Uh, the instructions were to set off the cars that are that are deliveries and pick up the pickups, rebuild the train, keep going. One car, twenty, ten feet, five, two, one, good. Three step, 8150, you do it. Three step, 12Z utility, 8150. Two more. One car.
Signal indication to head north. This is an S12Z. Let's give some chase. long journey from Shenandoah to this signal up here. This is CP Summit we're coming up on. Let's see what the aspect is and hopefully our southbound that I found out about is not here yet. Hopefully. The diverging approach on. Uh-huh. Approach. Perfect. Okay. I'm sitting in position where I want to be. We're going to film in just a minute when the train comes through. But to explain what happened. 12Z, which we were chasing north, called dispatch and said, hey, where is this 11Z, the southbound that's opposing? I said, well, he's just coming into Bentonville, which is way up north, right? So 12Z is like, hey, can we hop up to the next siding so we're not blocking a crossing here at CP Stanley? Can you put us at CP Vaughn? So 11Z coming south is going to clear this signal, CP Summit. CP Vaughn is the south end of that siding. So we'll get to see two trains sort of a train meet here which i've actually always wanted to catch it's very rare on this uh low traffic line that you get an actual meet at this siding 
So I'm looking forward to catching this and it is a whiteout out there right now. Look around. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but there's a dude actually sweeping off the rails in front of this train. It's no wonder this thing took so long.
Oh yeah, see it is a pretty much safe day. What's that? The way I see it is, I pretty much saved the day. Yep, yep. As you can see, the train's picking up speed now. I know a question I'm going to get is, if trains have a hard time in the snow, why do they run them? Well, they don't have that hard of a time pulling in the snow if they're on level ground. In this case, they're on a pretty steep incline, and my guess is that they don't have any locomotives on the rear pushing today. They don't have any distributed power units or DPU. So now that it's crest of the hill, it's having very little problem because it's coasting. So as long as they're not on too steep of an incline, they usually do pretty good. You can see this one's doing pretty well now. So the current road conditions, as we can clearly see, limit me from going the usual speed limit, but I'm going about 30 right now in a 55, and that's pushing it right now for the conditions. So that being said, I lost 12C. 
<laughs> I tried to get it, didn't work. Um, I also heard a defect detector go off that I mistake, mistakenly thought I heard a different one. And so I was like, ooh, okay, I'm ahead of it. Well, then I stopped and waited for 10 minutes. Turns out I wasn't ahead of it. I was still far behind it. So we missed the second set of CPLs, unfortunately, but I hope to have a video coming out about that very soon. If I have that out at the time of you watching this, it'll be linked above. Um, the CPL video is really cool, going to be really cool. Um, not not going to want to miss that. That's Norfolk and Western Heritage that is the last of its kind. So definitely want to check that out. I'm going to head up here, see what else we can see. I'm hoping to get to Fairground Road or uh, Rockland Road, someplace where we can get some higher speed freight trains through, uh, at least in this area. Ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! Four wheel driving through the snow. All right, this is 12Z. Coming through Rockland Road. Okay, this will be the last train of the night. It's getting too dark, cold, and I'm trying to keep the last ounce of sanity that I have left, I'm trying to hold on to that. So let's take a look at this train. Seven. Two twenty seven is arriving at Virginia Inland Port at between 4 and 4.30 p.m. That's late. Usually they're up here between, well, according to the sign, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Hmm. Well, team, unfortunately, that is the end of today's remarkable, long, fun, snow day adventure video. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. It was a lot of fun to bring it to you. And I would love to know what you think, so please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I do try to read all of those. And keep in mind, this level of fun is normal. So if you like what you see, be sure to hit the bell after you subscribe so you get notified every time I post. That's all for today's video. Thanks again for joining me from here in Front Royal, Virginia at the Rockland Road Railroad Crossing, watching 227 miserably pull to a stop right in front of me, keeping me from leaving. Be sure to stay safe. God bless and happy foaming. <laughs>